All right. No, Landon, this is a serious D and D podcast. <laughs> we don't make jokes. We don't do banter here. We're serious. <laughs> Welcome. We're live. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, welcome, viewers. <laughs> um, the yes, welcome though. Honestly, earnestly, uh, back to uh, turn of fortune's wheel. This is episode five. Uh, episode five. I am. Uh, am I gonna uh, once uh, again uh, try uh, to uh, again, you know outsource this work to someone else, and I'll pick up where we. Uh, you know, shortfall here. Um, <laughs> Randy again, uh, or uh, I should say, um, Gunther. Uh, Gunther, I what did uh, happen last week? Oh yes, uh, last week or two uh, weeks ago, I should two say. Two weeks ago, yes. Oh God. Do you have a uh, Do you have roll twenty open? Yes. <laughs> what is uh, what? What it looks oh, like oh, oh. last week? <laughs> um, oh yeah, there was a big, uh, a big guy who got. Was he sad? I I forget what happened. Somebody was sad at some point. Anyway, we beat him up. Uh, he wasn't as big as he looked. I think <laughs> is what I remember thinking. He looked big, but then I got bigger than him. Oh, so, all done. Yep, that's that's one hundred percent of what happened. Uh, yes, we we are in the uh, t a tower in the Outlands. Uh, you have um, they, we made our way out to this uh, you know this desert that has turned to uh, a lush forested area in you know a matter of a couple hundred feet, and uh, you found a came upon after following the tracks of a very large uh, mechanism to a tower that uh, you were able to climb up to the second floor of. And upon climbing into the window, you found two tiefling uh, fighter kind of gladiator style uh, uh, type folks who are uh, were sitting conspiring against their uh, their demonic, uh, you know, overlord, Slarsh, uh, the gore drinker. Okay. And you killed him as well. And we left off after you uh, killed the last gladiator who was... Um, you had thrown out the window uh, and it took him a while to get back to you. Uh, but he's deceased as is the demon. Uh, as far as you're aware, currently you have this, uh, this tower to yourself. Um, you are in the kind of living quarters of this place. Um, if you, you know, look around, you see some food in, in like a, a library office kind of area to your, uh, your east on the map. And uh, to the west, you see a place to kind of cut food and uh, a fire going to uh, cook on and some books and things scattered about. Um, it looks stocked with food, yeah. Uh, you did pass a uh, pass through a bedroom to the south that you came in the window through that had like a bird perch that uh, that was they, how you were you know able to have Gunter. Uh... <laughs> Are you um, sanding something, Randy? Oh damn it! Is that getting picked up? I'm sorry. Little, I didn't think it was it's coming through just a little bit. <laughs> Uh, we I can was... just call it Science <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 sorry. 
um, but but I will actually. That's just a sound of my, me shuffling my little feet over to the food cabinet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, I just like to throw back to uh, Tharlash uh, the the quote that I had written down from uh, last week's session was. Starlash core drinker will have your soul and drink your blood because it's on brand. <laughs> yep, that's that's yeah. Thar, uh, Tharlash. All right, Tharlash, whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, we hardly knew ye. I mean, you got the the important bits. He really has based his entire uh, personality off of uh, you know killing and drinking blood. So. Good. Or gore, or whatever. There he goes, killing again. <laughs> um, do you? Would you like to poke around anywhere? Um, I think we we had some loot that we picked up last time around. Uh, maybe not. I don't exactly remember. Hopefully, you wrote it down when I said it. Mm. No, I just wrote <laughs> down. <laughs> we'll drink your blood. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, so, yes. Uh, we are in... What is this? Let's see. Three. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so this is... Yeah. Library uh, is here. You got two locked doors over here. Uh, these are like a toilet and some, the doors are kind of ajar so you can see inside mm -hmm. uh, down here. Some, you know, maybe honey and uh, cabbages over here. Glomulus <laughs> says, oh, excuse me, I, I, I will begin investigating the restroom. I will be right back. And he shuts <laughs> the door behind him. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Yep, exactly. Uh, I assume lock the door as well. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and then I do, I do use the restroom. Uh, okay. Uh, I know a lot of you might think I'm searching in here, but um, I'm going to do uh, uh, use of the restroom and then search. Okay. Uh, what does everyone like to, what would that, you know, uh, we'll start with Dodge. Uh, who, what are you doing? Uh, now that you've killed Tharsh, the gorge drinker. I want to peek through the store that I'm right next to. Okay. So uh, we're going to open it, and you can now step inside if you'd like. Uh, it is a bedroom. Um, it has a single bed, a desk, and a cabinet containing some, maybe some like some kind of fabric. You You can see it kind of poking out. Can I make an investigation check to loot the room? Check, yeah. Check it, everything out. Yeah, right. sure. Um, Weird how you didn't ask for actually, me to roll. <laughs> actually, can I, can I make a perception check instead? Of sure. Yeah, right. go for it. I have a plus seven of perception and only plus one to investigation. So. <laughs> Come on, baby. Uh, oh, 25. Uh, you find a very nice set of robes. Um, if you want to make a uh, arcana a check, his history or investigation check, uh, you can also take an arcana check. Oh uh, yeah, I'll do arcana because I have plus one to history and investigation, but I have a plus eight arcana. Big money, no whammies. Oh, twenty-five. These aren't magic. They're just regular <laughs> fancy robes. <laughs> All right. Well, um, what what color are they? How fancy are they? What are they like? Um, they're like a, a mix of kind of a threaded gold and blue, um, with some like some actually surprising like, uh, kind of almost neon highlights of uh, of pink. I like. I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck these away so that I can get them hemmed. To fit me because I'm a little guy and I'm just assuming they don't fit. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, they definitely don't. <laughs> They're like a, a little too long in most places and a little too skinny in a lot of other places. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, even, uh, even your rabbit body. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm tucking, tucking this away. Cool. 
Um, yeah. Uh, he, Landon, do you want to roll an investigation check? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to. I'm happy to, to uh, you know, uh, indulge you. <laughs> uh, that's an 18. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. This is a serious <laughs> podcast, remember? <laughs> uh, hang on. I'm sorry. Broke the game. See? What? <laughs> Wasn't working. Uh, you find um, you find a set, a very nice set of silver uh, like shaving gear, oh. and uh, okay. it, you might guess that it's worth like twenty silver. Okay, you know, it's like a good, you know, fancy set. Like uh, most people would be pretty stoked to have this. Yeah, yeah if they ha if, if they had hair. <laughs> If they had hair. <laughs> Do you pretend to shave? Uh, yeah, he, he he does try to see what happens and just like just kind of just grazes over him and like yeah, yeah. <laughs> interrupts your uh, fluid dynamics a yeah, little bit. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay, so what would um, uh, Kirith be doing? Let's see here. Um, well, I am intrigued by, oh, this, this door over here, but then there's also the locked door. Locked door. Which one is the locked door? Uh, the bathroom? Ah, that is, uh, is, do you want to try and open that door? Well, I want to check for traps. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll an investigation. That's an eight. <laughs> yeah, there are no traps. Okay. All right. Let's go in. Okay. You open the door. There are two nice beds there. Uh, it looks like, you know, you've got uh, two nightstands and uh, a little desk off to the side. Um, it's a nice, nice view of the uh, outlands. Um, you can kind of see the, the edge of the spire in the distance, but uh, you're looking out across. Uh, vast, bizarre land. Hmm. Uh, can I loot around? Uh, sure. We're looking at... Um... What's your investigation check? A seven. <laughs> uh, you find some paper and pens, like uh, it's their writing uh, desk. So you would have, Ooh. you know, ink and uh, other things there. Very cool. Okay. Um, Kira closes the door and he has a little jump on the bed, but he doesn't <laughs> want other people to see. Okay. <laughs> uh, ah, what are you doing now? Uh, I obviously want to go in this room over here and see what there is. Okay. Uh, so move your uh, your token to cute plants. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, W. So this um, has a sizable desk that stands opposite the door uh, in this stuffy study. The cabinets, crowded bookshelves, and maps of the outer planes cover the walls. Uh, the room's walls. In the south corner stands a simple cot, a hulking... Oh, no, that's already... we You killed that thing. No hulking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, um, you're in the study of... Uh, uh, and you see... Um, well, take an investigation check. Um, what is it? 18, 21. Awesome. So you notice, um, uh, I wonder if I've got a good, uh, I'm going to find this. Um, that's not the special version, though. <laughs> uh, 
Suffer. I'm sorry. So you, uh, I'm going to show this to you. Uh, but in reality, this the thing that you see on the desk uh, is a version of what I just showed you. Uh, if are you able to see? Yep, perfect. Yep. Um, this one is uh, has a like mosaic to it. Uh, it's got this kind of gold and green and gray and black mosaic texture to the uh, the skull. And it's got these, um, uh, yeah, like orange glowing eyes. Uh, and um, it's sitting on the desk in front of you. Um, let's see. Uh, do you want to take an Arcana check? Yeah. Um, 20. 20, okay. Dirty. Yeah, so this um, you recognize as a very fancy memer. Uh, me uh, it's, it resembles uh, that debonair that uh, you met when you awoke uh, Mort. But uh, with much, much fancier, archaic, uh, like it almost feels like there's some kind of ancient magic to this particular memer. And uh, and if you touch it, uh, would you or would you like to touch it? Pick it up, see it. Can I let everyone know that I found something cool and they should come look? Sure. What? <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I step out. Um, there is <laughs> where, where uh, one thing go? that <laughs> there is one thing that additional that you notice with your twenty um, is that it is broken in some way. It seems like there is the the magic of this memer is potentially. Uh, uh, yeah, it, out of order. It's error causing error caused errors within it. There's a 404 mm. printed on the forehead. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> um. So yeah, as you pick it up, uh, it starts to make um like kind of strange babbling noises this is like <laughs> um, and then it kind of quiets down it just goes back into rest uh, in your hands is there anything in the room that would like help me fix it not that you can see um, okay uh yeah let me can i give it like a little pat and ask it to feel better that fix it <laughs> it once again does like a, a grinding noise and then like... <laughs> <laughs> um just gonna add something to the map layer uh, take off uh, this token. <coughs> um. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's time for us to leave. We're sent to the window. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only exit, obviously. <laughs> Down the stairs. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the audio so listeners, uh, you walk in. <laughs> magical text has appeared on the ground before us. <laughs> um, yeah. So the uh, heroes they walk downstairs, outside, past the uh, the other much larger library downstairs, and leave, and uh, I guess go back to sigil. <laughs> Found none. <laughs> Don't we have to go Bring find? This back. Uh, we're supposed to go find 
The Modron. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, right? This is the the mouth I mean, you're supposed to, okay. according to who? Wizards of the Coast? <laughs> what are they going to do about it, huh? That's true, that's true. <laughs> and what? I mean... But we were going to go see the mountains as well. Yeah. yeah we're going to get, get him some rocks, okay? Got to get and... rocks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but uh, the ladder next to Dodge does look rather appealing <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> so, actually, have an irrational fear of ladders. Shoot! All right, Glomulus. You or Dodge? <laughs> I'll go up the ladder. <laughs> no one else wants to. Wait, do I even need to go up? How tall is this ladder? Uh, oh, you're crouched right now, basically. Can I just <laughs> stick my head more. through the? <laughs> To the thing, can I just go boom and look around? Uh, you can try and smash your head through the ceiling. Oh, will it not fit through the door? Oh, you just want to put your head up into it? Uh, yeah. How tall are you right now? Eight feet. Oh, wait, if I'm long, am I in, I'm not enraged. Or oh, you're are probably you, not enraged right are, now. Are you, are you, oh. uh, do I have enlarged cast on me right now, uh, Jordan? You can uh, I wouldn't on that? think so. You said it was only like 10 minutes, right? Yeah, I think so. So yeah, I'm probably just normal size, so I'm eight feet. Yeah. Okay. So no, it's okay. about fifteen feet high. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, everything just refreshed. Um. Okay. So who's going up the ladder first? I will. I will check for traps. Okay. <laughs> So uh, you poke your head up uh, after like scurrying, like well, I guess yeah, you're you're tall enough to make the ladder rungs. Uh, it's a little bit difficult for you, but you you manage. Uh, I got the extra hands. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Yeah. So you probably are like already up the ladder within seconds. Then yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, you poke your head out of the top of the ladder, and there is just complete darkness oh uh, at a certain point um it does seem like you can see just enough that the ladder is still there but it looks as though um this the area above this room has been uh yeah uh, covered in some kind of darkness i do have dark, dark vision okay uh that helps if this is magical it is magical yeah in nature so you, yes, would not make a uh, difference. Uh, okay. I tell everyone it's, uh, it's really dark up here. <laughs> 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 I think we need a ha. Carry back down. <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps dodge. <laughs> Let me see what I have. Uh, uh, when you do that, make a stealth check. Oh, for my talking or my scurrying? Both. Okay, well, my talking, only the people I want to hear can hear it. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yes, good call. So my scurrying is an 18. Okay. Um, oh. Uh, All right. So... <laughs> um, I'm so quietly. <laughs> So, hang on a second. Got to get back to the right page. Apologies, apologies. Uh, walk. Uh, so... Does a 26 hit? Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, oh, no. out of the darkness, you see uh, a, um, a trident just come out of the darkness and, like, pierces you uh, in the, you know, like, uh, through your clothes and, you know, uh, 
uh, into your chest and hits you for uh, seven damage. Ouch. Um, (laughs) (laughs) And then roll initiative. Let's do it. (laughs) He has a trident. Or they. <laughs> 17 for Glamis. I also got a 17. Uh, 23. You can go first. <laughs> oh, tw- 22. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20. Two. Nice. I got to reset uh, this turn order. Hold on a second. <laughs> right, You're good. Feel free to ask us. I will. <laughs> I assume you want to go first, Shannon, and take care of this issue that you're dealing with. So, By yeah, you means, and you alone, obviously. Go, go, go ahead. I'd hate to get between you and whatever uh, speared you. <laughs> um. Okay. And all right, we're gonna delete this guy. Wait, where's why is he showing up still? Oh, that's right. Uh, the dead uh, gladiator still had a turn. So Aww. Dodge, what's yours? <laughs> um, you were 23. 23, yeah. yeah. Okay. Glomulus? 17. 17. Gunter? 22. 22. Ah. 14. 14. Ma, uh, Kirith? <laughs> uh, also 17, but Glomulus 17. said I could go first. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, well, Dodge is going to go first anyway, so. <laughs> That's uh, good. As long as, you know, as long as we're, we're taking the uh, vanguard in this initiative. Yes. Uh, Dodge, what would you like to do on your turn? Mm, so they're up in the attic, right? I can't see them. Right. All you see right now is like a, a wafting cloud of darkness up in inside the uh, uh, the chute of this ladder that goes up into the ceiling. Can I take a free action and say, Dodd, go after me so I can get big. I'm going to break my fist through the ceiling. Just a, um, You know how things are. Free action. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a bad plan. Um, I don't think I have anything to dis... So, it's a rolling... Cl- it's like magical darkness? Yep. Uh, flaming Sphere does not... Get rid of that. Okay. I am going to... How mm, mm. we don't guys, we don't want to go up there, right? We want to bait them down here. Yeah, I assume since they have the darkness, magical darkness, yeah. that we're gonna want to try to fall back. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I just want to make sure that we're we're on the same page before I start casting spells. Um, okay. I'm going to use my bonus action, and I'm going to cast Flame Blade at level two. Okay. Uh, 
And so now I've got a fiery scimitar in my hand uh, that I can make a melee spell attack with for 3d6 plus 4. Cool. Uh, Are you readying an action? Yeah, and I'm, so I'm going to hold my action for the first thing that comes into this square right here. Cool. Um, to fucking fuck shit up with. All right. And that's going to do it for me. Cool. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Gunter. I am going to go into a rage and double my set. Oh, I guess go to the size that I'm currently depicted as. <laughs> and um, I attempt to smash through the ceiling. Sure. Um, I would probably go over by however close I can get. To, I don't know. I probably can't fit in this space right here, but uh, try and get close to where uh, it seemed like Harry was. Can you? Say <laughs> Wait, you would miss that be because the um, you're sort of at the center of the uh, uh, <coughs> the like tower that you would guess that you're probably going to hit through to the next tower from where you are. Um, and you can share a space with an ally, right? Yeah, especially um, Kirith, who's a small creature, definitely. Can we make um, Kirith okay. small, like on as a to token? Small? It it doesn't uh, it doesn't look right. We yeah. have to add it add the um like the, uh what's that L alpha frame of it? So like it stays center. Okay. Otherwise, it goes it floats to like the top. Yeah, to yeah. the corner. Okay. So I just want to, instead of doing an attack roll, is it possible that I just try to pull the ceiling down around me? Because I have my, like, push-pull-lift strength is one size larger than I am, so I'm at size enormous. So if a size enormous thing could pull this ceiling down, then theoretically I could right now. Uh, okay, so what is your strength modifier right now? Plus five. Uh, and you're uh, proficient with it, right? With strength rolls. So yeah. it's like plus 10 or something for strength rolls. Um, wait, what do you mean? I'm not sure. I think for athletic, athletics, I don't know if all yeah, strength rolls get plus. That's what would, it would be. Yeah. yeah. You can try. There is a hair of a chance that you could get this. I have a plus eight to athletics. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'll just roll my athletics here. And I rolled a two, and that two, so that's plus, that's a ten. So, <laughs> yes. so you're like doing uh, one-handed pull-ups uh, with what you <laughs> yeah. You're like, I said, I said, wow, they build this place pretty good. <laughs> it's better than I expected. <laughs> so very solid, very solid carpet here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, How? Very anything else you want to do on your turn? Um, I'm going to stick my head up into the little gate cast. Wait, was that a full action just now? The thing yes. I just did? Yeah. Okay, then no. I, I, I back away. Okay. Uh, then it goes to Kirith. Okay. So I would like to try to camouflage into my surroundings. Okay. That's a twelve on my stealth. All right. Um, where where are you trying to hide? Um, with the ladder. With the ladder. Yes. <laughs> okay. Once, All right. One second. Okay, it's yeah. actually a seventeen because I cool. did get advantage on that. Okay. Um, I am one with the ladder. Um, and then I want to hold my attack for if anyone were to come down the ladder yeah um so that would be the end of my turn okay uh so that goes to glomulus 
Uh, yeah, I would like to dodge, which uh, gives a disadvantage on attacks against me for the next round. So I'm okay. also gonna wait, but I'm not gonna hold my action. I'm just gonna stand there and see if see if they attack. And if they do attack, I I should be harder to hit. Okay. Um, no bonus action for me. Yet. All right. Cool. Cool. So aha. Uh -huh. Yep. Um, I gotta figure out where this person is. Um, so I'm gonna use. Oh wait, what'd you say? Sorry. Oh no no. Go ahead. It, you can assume that they're up above you in you know inside this uh, uh you know somewhere in the next floor up. So uh, it's still dark up were... there. Yeah, it's still dark up there. Okay. Um. You could ready an action. Right. Back away. Whatever you want to do. Um get up on the table yeah. so you get a good vantage stuff like that okay cool yeah i'm gonna stay there ready i want to use i'm gonna use frostbite so i don't need to use anything now okay um so. but i wanna so in the meantime let's do i'm gonna use oh i hate saying this prestigitation um i want to throw a little firework up there to see if we can see a shadow and see how big they are oh oh okay all right uh so you see the pop a flash go off and you see uh like tendril like pincer shadows uh cast ac across the back of the uh, room um and like tridents uh Maybe two, maybe three. You can't quite tell. Um, good, good move. Uh, so that brings the t us to their turn, uh, in which um, <clears throat> all of you make a constitution saving throw as a yellow cloud of gas begins to fill the 20-foot radius uh, so easily all of you in this room, the gas begins to fill the room. Um, Ooh. and did you have a ready to act or prepared action or delayed action, Shanro? Just if they like came down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't think anyone said anything about no. what happens if a uh, poisonous gas comes and, uh, fills the room. <laughs> <laughs> That was not on my bingo card. No. <laughs> well, I got a six. So. Seven. Six, seven. Okay. I, I got a five. Ooh, Somebody got to say eight because I got a nine. And then we'd have five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> wow. I got to at least be cool. Is it so none of, you even, none of you even broke double digits, huh? Constitution save, you said? Yeah. Three. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> okay um what are what's everyone's uh hp at right now because i know you guys just got done fighting with someone else um, I'm fine. i have i have 38 hp and 10 temp hp yeah okay i'm at 29 okay so, what? yeah i'm at 32 and 10 to 42 Okay. Each of you take 31 damage in poison damage. I'm down. Uh, uh, I'm down. Uh, I will take 15 of that. Take 15 of that. Okay. Um, sorry. So, it, how many of you are down currently? You. Okay. Gunter, Kirith, Ah? Are you down as well? No, I'm still up. Okay. Ah, and, um. 
and Romulus and Dodge are still up. Okay. I have uh, acid or poison resistance. Oh, that is good. That's so. Uh, um, let's see here. What does this guy do? So, so from the uh, the uh, ladder, excuse me, got uh, drops a mesloth uh, from above. Uh, oh. Those of you who had ready actions who are not downed oh. <laughs> <laughs> may take them now. <laughs> uh, so I don't. I think uh, no dodge or just dodge or d did you? Uh, yes, I need. I need to make another Constitution saving throw to see if I maintain concentration. Uh, uh, yes. And so it's half the damage that I took, so I need to roll a 17 <laughs> or <laughs> higher to maintain concentration. <laughs> it's not going well. Okay. Uh, uh, wait. Yeah, it was there were 31 damage, you said? Yep. So it's 15, because it's half rounded down. So 15. I got to roll a 15. <gasps> Ah, oh, twelve. So I am not. I have not maintained concentration on my flame blade. So I, uh, I, I don't have. I mean, I can. I could bonk him with my quarterstaff, but that's a that's a a d six minus one damage. So <laughs> I don't. You might accidentally heal him. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> Ain't that something? Ain't that ain't yeah. That. <clears throat> so yeah, I uh, that's that. So you are you're not gonna do anything? No, because my my ready to action was hit him with a flame blade, and I don't have oh. a flame blade anymore. So oh shit, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, you you can't like cast any other spell. I'd be willing to. Um, let me, all right, all right, I'll, I'll hit him with a primal savagery, where okay. I, I, my claws come out and blah, blah. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> that works. <laughs> well, I'm I willing was, to bet I, that you can pivot. I think I have a sound effect for that. <laughs> yeah. Does a, a 26 hit? Uh, a 26, uh, does hit, yes. That's going to be three acid damage. Okay. Uh, I rolled a one and a two on a 2d10 roll. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> you say six? Day. Six acid damage? No, three acid damage. Three. Oh. Okay. So I, I just scratch him a little bit. <laughs> you hear a little... <laughs> it was, oh. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a good. I'm not. You know, meant for up close. I'm a little guy. Yeah, totally. Um, okay, so uh, let's see here. That goes to. I guess it's Dodge's turn now. Oh, uh, sorry. The mess. Uh, the the guy is going to attack, um, I guess, whatever, whoever is right in front of him. So probably Glomulus. Six, yeah. And that's what I, he's um, like kind of, he's ready for it. Like he's mm -hmm. standing there. Disadvantage. Uh, does a 15 uh, hit? Uh, is that, no, it doesn't. Does that have disadvantage okay. though? Because I just, I, I, I dodged. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Sick. Did you see that, Randy? I did it. <laughs> um, okay, so that's back to dodge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we are going to... Uh...
Mm. Oh, don't forget, Colin, you did the recap, so you have a point of inspiration. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, I should have done that this time. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll uh, someone okay. remind me next time if I don't do it. Um... <laughs> Damn it. How? No. <laughs> You're all within range. Son of a bitch. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was gonna cast Thunder Wave at third level. But... <laughs> Do it. Because it'll because it's a cube, so it would hit them above in the floor oh. above. Because it. it'll go 15 feet up, mm -hmm. but uh... the, the ceilings are 15 feet high. So. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah. Okay. Um, then that's how Gunter can do a pull up on them. So, it's the only so way. <laughs> is there is there's still a magical darkness up through the ladder? Yes, there is. And and all right, all right. I am gonna. Can you give me control of one of these creatures so that I can see? <laughs> <laughs> it's for the you, stream. It's for the uh, stream. It's for the viewers. The viewers need it. Jordan, I would let you aim a thunder wave upward and maybe catch uh, the Mesloth uh, above if you were interested in such a thing and not have you hit the people around you since you would be aiming up through the hole. Nah, it's a it's a fifteen foot cube originating from you, yeah. so it's. Oh yeah. Um, I figure I'm, you're like you're already you know a couple like what where you're gonna just average it out and say five feet, so you would have at least five feet of like. Well, you know, the, the other and, thing that I was thinking was was just throwing an ice knife into the darkness because as long as it hits something, it'll explode and do cold damage. So I might be able to even if I don't you know get a direct hit, I might be able to nail him for some extra cold damage. Um, it's in the realm of possibilities. Yep. But, but I also have summon Fey, so I can just summon a Fey to, to help us out and attack. Um, oh, shit! I'm fucking stupid! I have dispel magic. I can dispel. I hope he doesn't say that. <laughs> so, what do you want to do on your turn? Yeah, which one are you dispelling? <laughs> the, the gas or the uh, the darkness? <laughs> um. Well, I think. Yeah. I think it's got to be. Probably the gas, because we should. It's gotta be the gas, because we'll die yeah. if we. If, if. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna cast spell magic at at third level. That's, that's my action, and then as my bonus action, I am going to wild shape into my starry form with the archer constellation. And upon activation of that, I can cast a Luminous Arrow, which I'm going to shoot upwards into the darkness above me. Okay. Try to hit uh, fucking something in the darkness. 13. Um. <laughs> you hear uh, uh, from above. Oh. <laughs> as you think maybe he like got grazed by a ricochet but like you're not quite sure if it actually did any damage <laughs> okay all right all right um you also like for a second you see the darkness like fade just a little and then come back <laughs> yeah it doesn't dispel I could use, uh, on the next turn, I could use Starry Wisp, because that actually uh, makes the target emit dim light, and they can't benefit from being invisible. So oh. I'm going to end my turn for now, though. Uh, okay. For... The Dunskis. Okay. We're going to heal these bad boys up next turn. <laughs> Gunter, uh, I believe, saving throws? Death saving throws in order? 
you're muted. Is that just a D20? No. Yes. D20 above 10. 10 or above, succeed. 9 or lower, right? Or is that, isn't or, it 10 a failure? Or oh, yeah, maybe 10 is a failure. Yeah, it's going to be 11 to 20, though. Well, that was a 16, so that's a success. Hey. Oh. All right. Let's go. <laughs> I gotta say, just I love your henchman grunts. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh. you. It's <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> uh... Oh, um. Take a constitution saving throw. Uh, I think technically both Dodge and uh, Gunter need to take one. I'm sorry. That's a... Uh... Start at the start of your turns. Even while he's unconscious? Yes. 25. Oh, nice. Wait, is that because uh, I am unconscious? Do I not have to take that at like disadvantage? Probably. Uh, no, but you will. That is one um a failure towards your um destiny. Yeah. Oh. Was, what is you? If I did, did I not pass? Taking damage taking. while uh unconscious or whatever. Taking yeah. damage. So I do. I definitely take damage even if I succeed. <laughs> Uh, yes, unfortunately, oh, okay. and yes. I don't, and it only, I think it only matters if it double, the damage is double your, um, max HP. So as long as he's not doing 60 something damage, I think you're good. Uh, you will only, you will only take the one, uh, fail, um, to your death. Oh, stage. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Cool. I think, and I think that's correct. Uh, for damage so you take half of this which is eight damage jordan okay right or are we talking yeah okay. uh randy uh well uh gunter also takes it it did uh did right but he is dodge down, 60. So he doesn't have hp to lose right so right but he takes damage okay. so he, he does take a failure on his death okay. saves cool. yeah oh um, yeah so that's that okay yeah the failure you're right. one and one now Gotcha, yeah. Uh, okay. And Dodge, what was your constitution saving throw? That is 13. Okay, so you also... Oh, 13 total? Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you meet it, you succeed, so you take 8 damage as well. And then Kirith, uh, take your constitution saving throw. Okay, I'm using my big dice because all the others have failed me. <laughs> They're just God. little dice. Oh no. All right, um, that's a six again. Uh, I'm assuming that 24 is not uh, double your HP, right? No. Okay, so you do take damage, so you take a uh, failure. Um, I think you still roll a death save, or is that... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yep. yeah, roll a death save then. All right, little dice this time. <laughs> <laughs> Cocked. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's another fail. Okay. So two failures, so you next one and you are out. Um, yes, healing is good, but uh, not always possible. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. It is... You know, I don't know how I've been feeling about a rogue anyways. <laughs> well. um, uh, so that goes to Glomulus then. So Glomulus should... You do have to take your constitution saving throw still. For the poison. 
I thought, did we not dispel the poison? The poison? Oh, did we dispel the poison? Oh, I thought... wait, did I not need to take any of that? <laughs> what? No, I thought Jordan tried to shoot an arrow instead. Or, uh, no. thought... Hmm? I used my action to dispel the poison, and then bonus action, luminous arrow. Asterix. Oh. Asterix. I'm taking one okay. away. Okay, I'm sorry, I missed it. Yep, take Same both thing it. with Randy, right? All right, yep, revoked. All right, apologies, apologies. Well, I get my health back, too. Yes. No, Jordan. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, because no. you started your turn in it still. And no, I was, I was joking. Are you for real? He does it? Oh, yeah, no, that, that is true, because oh, I started shit. my turn in it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, my turn in, so. yeah so Jordan still, yeah, Dodge still has okay. the damage. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to cast, I still need, I should cast Lay on Hands regardless. <laughs> <laughs> on yes. some on someone. Yep. Um I I would prioritize the people in death saving throws for sure. So I, I wanna go for Gunter because his his uh I know that he has a love for uh life. And, and <laughs> I don't know how much Kirith currently likes being Kirith, you know? Uh, <laughs> this is a vibe. <laughs> this is a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Gunter I, hasn't even gotten to go to the mountains yet. I haven't again. I haven't seen him smash. He's a character smash, arc still. Uh, yeah, he just smashed those uh, stones. Um, so yeah, I will cast uh, lay or spare the dying. Uh, okay. You touch a living creature that has zero hit points. The creature becomes stable. This, or no, sorry. I should just use Jordan. Help Wait. me out. I should just use a. Just heal him, like cure wounds. Cure wounds. Yeah. <laughs> yep healing word yes, 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 yes i think by the way you are small now by the way you're back to normal size for oh for sure yeah got a rage actually a while ago because i didn't attack anybody yeah cool mm -hmm. um but yeah i think for the most part i'm, I'm just gonna heal and because i moved i used that as an act as one of my movements and then i'm gonna cast how much... that i'll let you know how much healing you get so if you want to move on to uh um yeah I'll tell Sounds you. good. And then you should uh, be back up, Randy. Um, but uh, will he be unconscious? No, he's just uh, however much HP he gets, he's okay. gonna be up. But he can't. Uh, he can't use a, a standard attack this next turn, right? Eleven HP. Eleven HP. For Gunter. Okay. Thank uh, you, Glomulus. Yes. We need you. This world needs you. Uh, okay. So, Ah, uh, what are we doing? Um, I want to... Are they, like, on the ladder in front of us, or what? Uh, they are, they dropped down from the ladder. So they're, okay, they cool. like, uh, three-point pose, superhero, with a trident in hand, <laughs> uh, you know, then uh, you tried to stab them all, and uh, he he cast or um, attacked. Thank you for bringing me back. Yeah. Okay, I want to cast Ross by Adam. Uh, must make a Constitution saving throw. Fail save. One d six. Failed save. Uh, disadvantage on next weapon attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then I get... So is it, is it a roll to hit? I don't know. It doesn't say. Here, I'm going to come over. <laughs> come on, guys. You're... Can't let the audience know we're all actually in the same building, just in different <laughs> we're rooms. We're all the same. We have these little dividers. This is all just a big show that we put together. It's all bullshit. Whoa, dude! Watch where you're swinging your arms. You're gonna get into my frame. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My little cubicle actually ends right here. It's all an illusion, Hollywood magic, folks. <laughs> uh, we have like the, we're the not even real. Yeah. <laughs> AI, it's crazy. Yeah. All our money, see, all our money went into the AI. That's why our, our setup is yeah. very humble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Constitution saving throw. They fail. So they take your uh, full damage. All right. 2d6. Let's go. 10. 
Okay. <laughs> and they get disadvantage on their next uh, attack. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, okay, anything else you want to do? Do you have any bonus actions? No, I'm going to stay here. Okay. Uh, in that case, it goes to this guy who... Uh, is once again going to cast darkness. Um, and Hold let's on. see here. <laughs> Hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Polygon. Okay. Fucking A. No! <laughs> uh, and then... Um, does a 15 hit dodge. 15 hit. That is gonna hit. Okay. So... So that's 10 damage from a claw that comes scraping down at dodge. I am a death saving throw. I think uh, if, if I die, I think I'm going to come back as a turtle. Is that a threat? <laughs> <laughs> it really feels like a threat, doesn't it? I don't know. But I could tell the vibe shifted when I said that. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and you just hear rummaging around up top. Uh, and all of a sudden, like, light pours out from above uh, a, as if maybe the darkness has been dispelled but you can, you're can you still shrouded in darkness ab around you okay. but the uh, the top of the ladder chute um, illuminates uh, that goes to dodge alright I think I was supposed to get two turns last round. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Curious. <laughs> I don't remember reading that one in the rule books. <laughs> weird. Yeah, weird. What's Dodge doing? <laughs> I rolled a 19 on my death save. Nice. You succeed. Uh, Gunter. All right. Uh... Um, okay, I have a question. So, theoretically, this character exists after the campaign that I'm playing earlier, where I'm level 3. Plot um, armor? No, well, I'm wondering, do I have... So, I got early on in that campaign, I got some goggles of dark vision. Because so, <laughs> I don't have dark vision. Uh, I'm a, a minor. Do I have that? That's what I'm wondering, yeah. <laughs> Pull them out of my bag and put those on. Or... No, you definitely don't. Uh, okay. Don't have that. <laughs> oh, I must have lost them at some point. Dang it! I wish I still had those goggles, those dark bit there right now. I say out loud. Still sitting in the morgue. Uh, yeah. Uh, just sitting. Sit, actually, there's a, there's a uh, zombie like worker walking around the morgue with some dead vision, <laughs> like dark vision glasses on. Just, yeah, as as Landon said. <laughs> um, okay, I, I go towards the light. Since I'm small, I can theoretically go up this ladder. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I, I go up the ladder. You're so small. Uh, right? no. Give me an acrobatics check, just to like... Acrobatics. Uh, 14. Okay, you're definitely going to incite an attack of opportunity from this uh, 
this mezloth that's in front of you. Oh, so, okay. so, uh, uh, does a 22 hit? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, Okay, so that's that is twelve damage. Oh darn! <laughs> Just enough <laughs> to put you back into death. Saving As throws. I pass out, I go. Oh, I forgot that guy was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's. It, like a flash of light uh, appears in like a horror uh, moment where through the darkness you see the gray outline of a uh, a trident that <laughs> off as you get pierced in the back and fall back uh, down to, off the ladder. Do I see anything when I go towards the light? Do I see anything in the light? <laughs> uh, you... Um, you do start to see, uh, like, well, it, what is, um, what is, does, does Gunther have, like, an affinity towards any particular plane, or I guess it would be the mountains uh, of some mm -hmm. sort, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of which of the Outlands plains you would probably end up on. Um, Aborea looks like it's got a mountain for it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a wild guess and say you see flashes of a, a mountainous plain. Uh, flashes cool. of Euphoria. <laughs> uh, also a little bit of that maybe. <laughs> Ecstasy, <right>. we'll say. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> um, that's a. That's a little inside joke for the planescapers out there. <laughs> um, okay, so Gunther is in death saving throws. Uh, Kirith, I guess that's to you. All right, death saving throw. I have moved all of my dice. I'm switching to the other side of my dice tray. Just hoping for more luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's the real. Oh, okay. yeah, that works. Um, Say you're not alive. All right, Glomulus. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Uh, I, as a cleric, I can't upcast spells, right? I only can cast prepared spells. I believe that's accurate, yes. Okay. It, it will show you in Roll20, or a... Uh, in uh, D and D Beyond, if you can mm -hmm. up spells, yeah, if you can upcast something, it'll it'll show okay. in higher. Because I yes. think about casting light, but I can't. It's a cantrip, so I assume I probably have to cast it at like first level or higher um, to override the darkness spell currently. Yeah. Um. So I am just going to uh, step over. No, I don't have to step over. I'm going to cast. Uh, I already did the one cure wounds. Mesloth. I'm moving Gunter off of Mesloth just so that we. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast cure wounds on Kirith. I'm sorry. I am my brain. It's all good. For 13 HP. 13 damage. Eight, 13 HP to uh, Kirith. Kirith, yes. Okay. And then I, I while uh, at this moment, then Gunther falls right back down after I just healed him. <laughs> I know it didn't happen. It happened after, but in my mind, it happens now. <laughs> it's all happening simultaneously. <laughs> oh, no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's one action and I didn't use a move action and I can't disengage right that's right yeah yeah shoot because I, I used my spell tough this is tough 
Um, yeah, uh, no, I'm good. That's that's it. Ah. Okay. Ah. 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 Ha. Um, I have dark vision, so I'm gonna use my firebolt. Oh, uh, dark vision yeah. does not uh, does not count no. in this uh, darkness, but you are Thank still you. able to uh, to thunder or firebolt, probably. Uh, okay, yeah. probably I'll take that. Um, let's see. Uh, seventeen and six, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay, uh, that does uh, well. Hold on. I'm just gonna do a little. Uh, that does hit. Yes. Sick. Okay. Two d ten. Oh, six. Uh, okay. Uh, six damage is six damage still. Um, Thanks. <laughs> it is uh, chipping away. <laughs> um. Okay. Mesloth, uh, Dodge, you're still down, right? Oh, yeah. Earth is up. Gunther went down again. Ah is up. Glomulus is up. Okay. So, um, probably at Glomulus again. This, uh, uh, does a 16 hit Glomulus? Glomulus is currently distracted. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll be back. I can look it up while I'm there you sitting go. here. <laughs> doom, 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 My apologies doom, if you can hear doom, Stuart doom. panting. We cannot. Okay. And never apologize for that. <laughs> uh, oh. Glamius, you are being hit. Oh, uh, uh, I don't I'm gonna guess. So. Yeah, you're actually right. <laughs> In this particular instance, <laughs> you are correct. You did not get hit. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I looked up your AC. <laughs> nice. Um. Okay. <coughs> uh, <coughs> but he does have multi attack, so. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, that one also misses. You see a, a trident through the darkness, like poking at you as you're dodging uh, amorphously through the the, uh, the darkness. Okay. Um, uh, you see, well, no, actually, uh, you don't see. Um, can you see that? Are you able to see? I wonder what. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, another. Uh, does a nineteen hit Glomulus? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you take five piercing damage uh, okay. as a uh, a trident pierces you in the back. Uh, <laughs> And another six ah! after that. <laughs> uh, as, yeah, let's try it. Do you, you don't have like any resistances to piercing damage, do you? No. Yeah. Unfortunately not. Um, okay. So that goes to dodge. All right, let's roll. That's a five, that's a fail. Oof. Oh, gosh. One and one. One and one. Oh, my gosh. We should do a public Discord sometime. We should, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a long-term thing, but thanks for the, you know, the <laughs> offer. <laughs> Stick around. It's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to happen. Um, okay, Dodge. You say you failed? Or you succeeded. 
I'm, I apologize. You failed. I was distracted. Failed. Okay. One and yeah, uh, yeah. Then Gunter. Not a death saving throw for me. Um, does it? Because I was just down. Does that not have an effect? Am no. I not? Okay, it has no effect. Okay, so it I'm just back. Just... Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Nineteen. That's a success. Hell yeah. Good for me. Let's go. Good news. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh Kirith. I need to fix your uh, token name. <laughs> yeah, I thought at some point, like naturally, a nickname would come along, but yeah. No. <laughs> um, okay so my question is I know that I can't see that my companions are near me but would I still get my advantage from having companions within a five foot radius of the enemy um Ooh. huh or am I concealed as well because I can just try to roll stealth. I just I just want sneak attack. Being transparent. <laughs> okay. okay, I understand. And then perhaps if after this round we could take a How quick does break. Sneak attack work with magical darkness. I think so. I think actually, technically, you are all ro should be rolling at disadvantage. Uh, oh. So Did it would be a regular, maybe. The monster. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So then would it be a normal roll, or? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Okay. Cancel that. If, if, if we or do not, that's it. Depends if we're yeah. counting it as a sneak attack. Right. Does a twenty-six hit? It does. Yes. <laughs> okay. Great. Do I still get sneak attack damage? No. Dang. Okay. Where's my D eight? There you are. Nine piercing? Nine piercing damage. Okay. Uh, and then I'd like to try to hit with my dagger as well. Sure. Go for it. That's a nat one, baby. <laughs> uh, nope. And that's uh, it. That's okay. my turn. Glomulus. Um... <clears throat> Uh, what does Gauntlet do? I was looking up the sneak attack stuff. Um, oh boy. So someone is attacking me from behind. I, and I, I hear fighting happening in front of me. Uh, <laughs> uh, Glomulus does like a 180 in his armor, and I think now you realize that his armor is uh both f can function both ways. <laughs> it is there's no front <laughs> or back, <laughs> <laughs> just like there's no facing in D and D. Uh, yeah, just his armor is uh same, same. Uh, so the tattoos just like rotate around. <laughs> back. <laughs> so he's going to attack the person behind him. And I will roll for attack with disadvantage. Correct. Hell yeah. Disadvantage. Yep. Okay. So 18 on the first die. So uh, 25 to hit a crit on the second attack. <laughs> nice. So close. But so just a normal hit. Um, okay. So it's better than nothing. Yep. And that'll be a. Uh, 15 with the crit as well i'm going to do a bonus action so 15 damage to crit the one that's uh behind you yes that's 15 critical damage on them 
It, sa it says <clears throat> okay. crit over it, but um, so I assume that is it is calculated. Yeah. I think. And then I'm gonna do thunderous smite. And they need oh, to make cool. a, a strength saving throw of sixteen. They fail. Cool. So they are pushed ten feet back, uh, whichever direction you desire, and also take another ten damage. Uh, and I, that doesn't say crit on damage on it so i think we double that okay so an extra 20 damage to them or just or <laughs> 15 then 20. hang on and then i've got to add so 35. okay so 35 yes and they fall down the stairs yes um and take an additional okay so yeah uh you just see this guy like tumbling down the uh Let's the go. staircase <laughs> um it looks like it hurts nice. extra cool um, end of turn hang on i've got to do a lot of math now <laughs> um <laughs> one hp for every stair <laughs> uh Damn. Nice. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> everyone else, you just hear, like, hear a crackle and like a boom as uh, uh, the uh, muscle and just... I did a uh, the Wilhelm scream on my yeah, soundboard. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, ah, it is your turn. Okay, we're gonna use Witch's Bolt at level two. Okay. Oh, please. Let me see. Let's. 19. That hits. Yes. Okay, well, I got two 12s. Mm, there. <laughs> 12 damage. Hell yeah. 12 damage. Nice. And, uh,. That can, that witch's bolt connects, so you can sustain that next turn if you want. Cool. For thanks. even more damage. Um, <clears throat> okay. So that is back to this guy. Um, who's uh, who's down right now? Just a quick, sorry to interrupt, but um, uh, Shannon was asking if we could take a break just for a second. Oh, no. yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuart needs to go out. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, it technically is not the end of the round, but I'm happy to take the break now. Cool. 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 Uh, yeah, let's cool. do it. We will be back. All right. Sounds good.
ready to die. We are back. All right, let's rock and roll, guys. <laughs> okay, where were we? Okay, we were on this guy's turn. Yeah. Uh, so that guy, that guy is gonna gonna do two hits in front of him. Uh, to nineteens hit. For me, Romulus. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A nineteens will hit. Okay. Um. Fourteen damage uh, plus another eight, so twenty-two damage. Okay. Uh, across two, uh, uh, so. Okay, twenty-two in it, total. Yeah. Okay. If you have resistances, let me know. Uh, <laughs> to only acid po poison and disease. Okay, got it. I have currently twenty-two hit points. <laughs> oh. So does that mean you're in death saving throws, or that's, uh, that's exactly what that means? Okay. Uh... <clears throat> I wish I could have well... healed more of you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I healed some of you, the none of you. Now I'm left with just the thoughts of you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, you hear a uh, at the bottom of the stairs uh, as uh, the uh, continuing uh, down the stairs, the Mesloth did not lose uh, <laughs> in the momentum as it tumbled, continuing to take damage down the many steps, the 30 foot uh you know, drop down uh, provided. So uh, one of them uh, is dead, uh, it sounds like. I should have hexed but... them. <laughs> um, so that goes to dodge. Nine. Oof. Oof. A failure. Are you at one and one? One and two. two. Two failures, one success. Oof. All right. Gunter. Ooh, that's a 10. So fail. Yeah. Wait. Oh, 10 isn't a pass. Oh, that meets beats. No. 11 to 20's pass. Oh. Yeah. 50 50. All right. Now I've got one and one. Ooh. Okay. Uh,. Kirith. Okay. I'm trying to do a little stabby stab once again. Just a regular roll. Oh, um, you've hit, you guys have hit this guy so many times, and he hasn't taken one fucking concentration spell uh, check. Yeah. yeah. He hasn't. Uh, he does fail the most recent one. Oh, okay, uh, so, cool. uh, so the d darkness dissipates. Let me try and... So advantage on your attack. <laughs> yeah, so you do give Woo! advantage on your attack. <clears throat> okay. So that's a 25 to hit. Uh, that hits, yeah. Which means I get sneak attack. Yes. <laughs> I got my blood dice here. That is 24 piercing damage. Dang. 24 piercing damage. Yes. Okay. Damn. <laughs> now, my dagger. <laughs> uh, not as good. That's going to be a 17 to hit. That does not hit. Okay. Uh, and okay. that is your turn. Uh, Glomulus. Uh... Uh, I don't want Aren't to you down? Yeah, I am down. I know. I don't. I don't, I don't let me go get my physical dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta feel the death in your hands. <laughs> oh, I guess he didn't have his headphones on. 
<laughs> That's a fail. No. Ooh. Uh, Glamulus, then ah. Let's go again. Oh, yes. Uh, roll to attack, yeah. Eleven. Uh, plus, did you uh, add your spell modifier? Yeah. Okay, eleven total. Yeah. <laughs> womp womp. <Yeah. laughs> it does not hit, um, unfortunately. Uh, anything else that you can do this turn? No, I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> so, here's the thing. Each of them had a cast of Cloud Kill. This was not the one that cast Cloud Kill. What he would really do in this situation is cast Cloud Kill. He's then gonna die. Then, <laughs> then do it. Do it. I. <sighs> nope. Are you gonna pull a punch? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do it. I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> you, you gotta do it, man. This is, this is what we play for. Um, there's a real good chance he dies too with you. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're all gonna roll a constitution saving throw. Uh, that is uh, so I also, 13. I double checked the rules for... Um, players who are getting attacked when they're downed mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's since they're unconscious attacks against them have advantage and are automatic crits oh, oh. two two that's two it's, and it's, it's so it's two automatic death fails okay okay jordan <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a stickler for the rules. He doesn't make the news, he just reports yeah. it. <laughs> no, I don't write the books, man. We okay, so that. it is 20 total damage on the die for, so half would be 10 if you succeed, and total would be 20 if you don't. Fuck, dude. All right. For everybody? Oh my goodness. Yes, 15? for everybody. 15? What's the saving throw? Uh, it was 13. Oh my gosh, first time. Uh, yeah. I get 19 to save. I also remembered or figured out that I get advantage on the save as well as half damage. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, I got, I'm down, so. Yeah, so yeah. Just, the damage is just the damage. Yeah. As long yeah. as it doesn't double. This is the end for Dodge. This so. is the end for maybe a couple of us. Yeah. I'm alive, but barely. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm 18. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 18. Damn. So do I have two fails then? Yes. I die. <gasps> oh. Okay, so... I'm yeah. really relieved that we finally got to this point <laughs> because there is a uh, a special thing that is you know mm -hmm. that I have you've managed to elude this far, but we are in a multi-dimensional glitch. You are in a multi-dimensional glitch, and because of that, uh, you reappear. Uh, just outside in the desert sands, <laughs> uh, you, I'm going to get to this um, because this is a por part of this adventure that is, f has some particular rules around it. And uh, I believe it's in the beginning of this adventure. Um, I don't so... think I'm the only person who died there too, right? Oh, yeah, right. I, I died also and I think Randy did too. And I think Shannon died. No. Yeah. no. Have th oh. I have three HP. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Jareth and Ah. Uh. 
<laughs> um, I'm a cockroach. Okay. I like how uh, off air we talked. Uh, uh, some of us have talked about how Dodge, Gunter, and Glomulus all have main character energy and give off like kind of like a Dennis, Mac, and Charlie vibe. I'm just trying to like, I, I, me. No, wait. I'm doing something. No, I cast a spell or whatever. So it's funny that we all three of us died at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh i asked you guys at some point to uh to write a little something about what your greatest you know decision or turning point in your character's life is what is something that your character wishes they could have changed about themselves and what is your character's signature possession or physical trait so these uh, are meant to inform your next iteration of you as uh as you're running through this adventure, you're going to, uh, you know, be reincarnated maybe more than once uh, as a new version, a multiversal glitch version of yourself. And so uh, it is up to you as the players to decide, you know, what kind of characteristics transfer to the new person uh they can it can be as basic as you use your left hand instead of your right hand or you can be you know the uh iteration of yourself that was better or different or followed a different path in your life um it is really up to you same species different species doesn't doesn't, doesn't matter. matter just justify it if you want you know the, like okay quite the glitch <laughs> uh, yeah. This is now the version of Dodge that developed emphysema from smoking. <laughs> and now he sounds like this. Hello. A meteor. <laughs> from the <laughs> five foot meteor going at a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> is it we in the desert? Yeah, you uh, you might remember you had this blue sandy desert that you uh, you were in not much longer before you ended up in this tower. Uh, so you're yeah. probably more like you know maybe a quarter mile out from where you are right now. Uh, no. Yeah. Do we do we come back full HP, long rested, or do we come back? <laughs> Do we come back one HP? Go, 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 uh, go, go! <laughs> I am going to say until these, uh, you do not come back long rested. No, you come back. Uh, we're going to say. Um, Different class and character, everything, like whole new you character can, sheet. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, oh. You come back with five HP. Oh my god. Oh wait, okay, hold on. Yeah? This might be a good stopping point then, because I, I may want to take a, some time to think if I want to create and use this as an opportunity to create a new character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Um, what happens with Ah uh, and Kirith, though? Well, they are still there. They are still in initiative. We, uh, we could resolve that. Yeah, As, let's do that. Because yeah. we might die. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> single HP. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're, you'll live forever. Yeah, exactly <laughs> until the start of your next turn. <laughs> oh, let's go, gamers. Um, you have... Uh, oh, you're out of spell slots. That's right. Uh, so... I guess that goes Dodge is down, Gunter's down, so Kirith. Uh okay. you you uh technically have to make the uh saving throw. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm gonna die probably no matter what here. Yeah. But... Um I'm gonna roll his saving throw at the same time as your saving throw, just okay. so that we can decide whether or not you all die or you only you die. <laughs> Fair. All right. Well I rolled a ten. Okay, uh, so you fail. Uh, you both are going to take. Let me see here. Say I mean, like eighty-six damage or so. <laughs> Eighteen. 
18 damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm down. Yes. I would imagine so. How's that bard uh, coming, Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, that goes to Ah. Uh, make your saving throw. Seventeen. Uh, okay. I you said you have one HP left, right? Yeah. So, uh, so even though you succeed, you still take more than one damage. So <laughs> <laughs> we also I'm die. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming. Uh, well, okay. So here's the thing. TPK. The Mesloth is dead and loses concentration on this cloud kill. There is no longer cloud kill. You are, however, sit like laying there, uh, potentially unconscious, potentially dead. So, I will have you guys resolve your death saving throws, and if you manage to stabilize, the team can get back to you and res you. Whether or not you want to do that or not is uh, up to you, but, you know. <laughs> you know, I'm all about the fate, so yeah. play the game. So I think both Ah uh, and uh, and Kirith just resolve your death saving throws now until you either uh, survive or die. I got a nat 20 on my first one. Oh! oh. I got a 19. Hey, hey. Right. two successes. Well, three successes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a two. A failure, but not a crit failure. An 11. You succeed. You are stabilized. Unless you don't want to be. <laughs> Unless you don't want to be. I don't. <laughs> Let's be real. I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, then uh, you... Uh, a... Um, <laughs> You see from the rafters a uh, an incubi uh, is like floating down and uh, just like uh, dips a a knife into you as it floats off down out of the uh, the um, the castle and leaves. Beautiful. <laughs> um, ah. <sighs> Eight. Eight. All right. One success, one failure. Mm hmm. And a 12. Success. Eleven. Uh, you stabilize. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love that. Um, my breath. <laughs> so as you, uh, as you like drift off, uh, I'm gonna just describe what happens from uh, from Oz's point of view uh, before we end the session. Is uh, you uh, Ah awakens um, as a uh, as Ah opens her eyes, um, the image of a Githyanki or Githzari, I should say. Get sorry, uh, it was uh, like an elegant but bright pink, uh, like adornment of you know fashion and uh, like what long white hair uh, is holding you, your head up, uh, feeding you a potion as you're um, uh, you're coming to. Uh, her in a in a you know old uh, almost feeling ancient voice uh, says, uh, "I believe it's you I have to thank for ridding my uh, my tower of these demons and fiends. I am sorry about your friends, but I must thank you. Uh, I've been prison here here for months now." Uh, with them attempting to get me to move this tower. And uh, that's where we'll stop. Uh, 
Heck yeah. Woo! We're dead. Right. We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's cool, though. Yeah. Good session. Um, thank goodness someone finally died so I could reveal this, like, very important plot point that, <laughs> like, <laughs> has been cloying. <laughs> that's cool. To yeah, make this happen. Is, this is sort of, uh, yeah, is that part of, that's a pre-written part of this whole campaign? That's yes. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> you, um, yeah, you are uh, in a multiversal glitch, which makes you, you know, theoretically potentially invulnerable or like immortal. What, uh, does anybody have any ideas about what they're going to do? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Oh, like... Portal. Oh, God damn it. We all know. Yeah, please, we all know. Jordan's gonna please do. Please don't. Please, please do anything but that. No. What were you gonna say, Shift? Um, I'm thinking about going monk because that's in Kira's backstory, and then we'll he'll come back as Moth. Oh, uh, his that was his nickname in the backstory Let's at the yes. monastery. So Hell yeah. We don't have to change anything. So you're going to do a monk? Is that what you said? I think so. I awesome. am not used to not being a spellcaster, so I kind of want to do that, but I don't want to change him that much yet. Yeah. It's That's that, awesome. It seems like, from the sounds of it, like it, we can get really creative with like like all of it where it's like mixed match where it's like it's my character with this thing and this timeline with these problems yeah so they could be like a medieval cyberpunk like <laughs> lizard <laughs> warrior who yeah. likes tea parties or whatever like i'm in that yeah. sounds awesome yeah <laughs> and yeah it, i mean yeah. go go as far as you want really because i'm uh you know I'm amenable. I was really tempted to get in the sale the Eberron stuff because they have like, uh, you know, machines or whatever those um, constru Whoa. constructs are. Yeah, war forged. Yeah. <laughs> Shit like that. Eberron's cool. Yeah. Um, uh, and it has the Artificer class, right? Oh, does it? Artificer. I think um, so. Well, you can, get it, you can get it from Eberron or Tasha's Cauldron. I oh yeah, I, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure I have access to it, so I don't think they, but I don't think I have Eberron yet. So, any Maybe ideas on for species Shanro for the? I'm not sure. I like being my little Thrycreen, but at the same time, I think it makes roleplay a little hard. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I'm considering other options. I think we'd made oh, the we're... best we did the most with it though i really tried <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I liked it as a you know as a uh a role-playing you know it, it feature also, also was it came in handy there when uh you were tr doing that stealth check or whatever because yeah. you, you're like no only Could the that. people i want to hear <laughs> me hear me yeah but that so that was cool you know but I feel like you mm -hmm. got you got to do that. You can do other things now. <laughs> yeah. What is Gunther gonna do? Um, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. To think about it. I, I think I'll definitely try and take some elements. Like I want it to be like a multiversal version of Gunther. So. But, but, <laughs> Maybe but, he got into like uh, like geode smashing instead. Yeah. <laughs> he carries a hammer instead of a pickaxe. Or it's funny you mentioned is Artificer on the table as a possibility because i was thinking like that's a different way of being a miner oh it is Could that's a, a really funny guy uh, like he did the smart <laughs> version of the thing he's really into mm -hmm. I don't, <laughs> yeah yeah so have, I'm thinking artificer in I, it should be in there yeah okay it's tasha's i have it in tasha's and i know i bought that so okay I might have um, Tasha selected or something. Oh, I should have all of them though. Yeah, it should, are you making a character in my um, campaign? I, ooh, good question. That might be. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that might it. be it. 
can't wait to find out what you guys choose. <laughs> I have a couple of uh, ideas, but we we can we can save it for later potentially. <laughs> I I am really happy that you pushed that guy down the stairs because that could have ended really like a lot less climactically if he was still like alive and standing there to like finish the job yeah. of whatever. <laughs> oh man. I like I I'm gonna miss playing Glomulus as Glomulus as they as they were or whatever. Um different we can do different names and everything, right? Like it's, Yeah. It's nice. Well so okay, so there is a secret to this which uh or a a feature that I I hesitate to tell you, but I think it's probably gives you some peace of mind is that uh, there are only three versions of you. So uh, you will end up cycling through a random version of yourself. Uh, so you actually, sh actually, the, I, maybe it's not so secret because now that I'm thinking about it, the, it tells you to roll up two more characters. Okay. Oh. So to have them ready for if you do die. <laughs> interesting okay yes okay that's good that Ooh. is good to know i really appreciate knowing that yeah uh all right well i guess we should maybe just end the stream here oh yeah that's good yeah definitely all right well thank you for watching we'll make a discord soon <laughs> yeah eventually <laughs> <laughs> bye y'all yeah. bye. Bye. bye 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 players and haters <laughs> <laughs>